Hello students. So in this video, I am just going to discuss what is the basic question in a quantum mechanics from the chapter free particle. So if you will see in the free particle chapter, there are mainly three things you have to focus. One is particle in box. And obviously you have to go for finite box and infinite box. And they will simply ask you to plot the wave function. So you have to work for this thing very nicely. And you always you have to remember that you have symmetric box and you have box between 0 to A. And this is for the infinite box. And you have to also learn the basically the impact of parity when you have symmetric box between a, a symmetric about x is equal to 0. That means the length of box is A. And the basically, the boundary is from minus A by 2 to plus A by 2. So they will ask uh, to plot a wave function, they will ask you to plot a probability density, they will ask what will be the energy, they will ask if you are just changing the parameter, what is going to happen to energy, what is going to happen to normalization constant, and all these things. And in this part, you have to also calculate all the expectation value. And for calculating the expectation value, you have to do the integration by parts very nicely, such as integration that you will go 0 to a x sine square n pi x by a this kind of integration you have to practice it very nicely because they will just give you that ask the you the derivation of this particular integration and uh, in the particle in box they will surely relate the answer with the de Broglie wavelength because your particle is free your particle is free and it has some momentum and how de Broglie wavelength will also give you the same solution, whatever you are getting from the Sorringer wave equation. So these all things are very interesting and you will find these all thing in well, well discussed into the author bezier. So you can just go for author bezier and where you can discuss all this thing. But when you want to go for the mathematical part, I will suggest you, you should go for the David J. Griffith, where you can go for the part, the free particle chapter, where you will discuss in this book, there is all the discussion about uh, uh, how you will get the Sorringer wave equation and how you will get the solution of that Sorringer wave equation, including boundary condition. So this is uh, uh, one part of uh, this particular free part question. The second is all about tunneling. So you have to all also revise basic uh, nature of tunneling from the step potential, from the finite potential, from the potential barrier. So they will ask you what is the difference between finite potential, potential barrier and the step potential. They will also ask that where your particle is bounded and uh, they will just ask you about the potential barrier. So what will be the wave function into all three reason? So suppose you have barrier between 0 to A and your potential height has V0 and your particle is coming from left, then how you can calculate the transmission coefficient, how you can calculate the reflection coefficient, this thing they can ask to derive into your interview. So you have to do the derivation very nicely. This thing is again very well defined into Arthur Bezier as well as David J. Griffith. So I suggest you when you are just going to uh, to prepare this topic for the interview, you should go for David J. Griffith or Arthur Bezier. And please try to just practice integration part and try to calculate each and everything by yourself. Because in this part, they will surely ask for the derivation part. And yes, curve plotting, graph plotting is very important. The plotting of phase, uh, sorry, plotting of uh, wave function. And one more thing, they can ask you the calculating these all thing by the plotting the phase curve also. That means you have to use bohr summerfield theory. And from the semi-classical theory, you can also calculate uh, the energy value. And that is quantized energy for value for particle in box. So students, when you want to go for this one, try to make the thing separate. First, go for the particle in box and do it all the derivation part surely and at least the one thing that is your finding the expectation value of energy expectation value of uh, 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 
position as well as expectation value of position square. So you have to focus on this thing. In the tunneling effect, you have to just go for uh, basically what is the tunneling probability and how your wave function is going to decay. What will happen when your potential is say, uh, what will happen to plus infinity? What will happen to minus infinity? This kind of thing is very important. And also you have to prepare for de Broglie wavelength. So student, prepare it hard because once you will say that quantum mechanics is my favorite topic, surely there is fair chance that they can start your question from this particular topic. Thank you.